Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going through the Omdina Liverpool Chapters project on predicting road traffic collisions severity by using machine learning. The, the reason we chose this particular project is because there is still a high number of people dying on the UK roads. Now, the trend of people dying on the UK roads has been in a downward spiral since the 1960s. The UK, UK road network has been improved vastly since the 1960s. However, there are still certain areas that haven't been upgraded to reflect the increase of cars on the UK roads. So this means there are still preventative measures that could be implemented to prevent even more deaths on the UK roads. So our objective was to predict the severity of road traffic collisions and observe road traffic collision hotspots using machine learning. And that would allow us to gather insights and approach local authorities and suggest further implementation of road traffic safety measures. The data sets that we used were an accident data set and a vehicle information data set. And both of these were taken from the Department of Transport in the UK, which is a government body. The accident data was a, basically a, a, a list of all accidents between the time periods of 2005 to 2017. And the vehicle data was information about the vehicles which were involved in those accidents. And they were linked together using a accident index, which was pretty much an accident ID. So the project took five weeks and it was built in different stages. What we tried to do was basically match a real life data science pipeline where we had a team of data engineers who cleaned the data and error checked the data. It was then, the data was then split into four different pipelines which covered the project outcomes. The first pipeline was, the, was to build a predictive model. The second pipeline was to build a geospatial map which would plot the accident hotspots. The third pipeline was a time series analysis. And the fourth pipeline was just a exploratory analysis of the vehicle data. And that happened over five weeks. The first week was the data engineering. The second week was the exploratory analysis in each pipeline. Then there was some feature engineering. And the final two weeks were concerning the model developments and the deployments. So what did we learn while we went through this project? The biggest learning curve for most people was the sampling techniques. The accident data, the target variable, was split into three, slight accidents, serious accidents, and fatal accidents. And there was a massive imbalance of them, them particular classes, slight being probably making up about 85% of our um, information. So we had to use various techniques such as SMOTE and random undersampling to improve the imbalances. And also the technical lesson number two was to how to build a streamlit dashboard to deploy our solution. However, the date we, when we were building the predictive model, the data that has been provided by the government isn't sufficient to build a predictive model because we, through the EDA analysis and the model building, we were able to derive that the data didn't capture the nuance of what caused an accident. As, as I mentioned earlier, since the 1960s, the roads have improved. So when we were taking a look at the causes of fatal accidents, more often than not, they could be traced back through media channels. So there'll be news reports on a fatal accident. And around 60% of the fatal accidents that we sampled 
were basically due to genuine accidents. So people walking out into the road without looking, people who hit other people through the the influence of, of, of driving with alcohol or drugs. And the data that the government provided are of police reports, but there is there is no capture of the data that actually caused so caused the accidents. So a lot of the time, the fatal and serious accidents were not necessarily caused by the road infrastructure. So that created a problem with building a definitive predictive model. And even though we couldn't complete the task to how we would like, it was very valuable for the learning experience because data science pipelines, machine learning engineering is a very iterative process. So the next sort of lessons were the project management lessons. And we were to build a real life project structured with numerous pipelines to, to genuinely reflect how a, a real life project, if you're, you're in a data science role, works. And the second lesson was how to take responsibility for the various different tasks within, within that data science pipeline. This is a quick demo of our solution, which is a streamlit app. And as you can see, the splash page gives some information about the project background, the problem, the project goals, the project plan, and the learning outcomes. We have a mapping severity map. Just let that load. And what you can do is select a variety of different features, the year of collision, the local area, which is the police force's jurisdiction, and the accident severity here. It gives you a number of collisions in that particular year and the number of casualties in that particular year too. Now the casualties, uh, according to the Department of Transport, is not only deaths, it's injuries as well. Um, and the severity in, in this particular occasion is slight. So we can assume that this number is just injuries. If you hover over any of the um, points on the map, that's where the collision happened. And if you click it, it brings up some information about that particular incident. And that is the severity, the number of casualties, the vehicles involved, the date and the time as well. On the visualizations tab, we have a couple of key visualizations that have were, were derived from the EDA process. And as you can see, there's a few here at the moment, but the, it, this is a work in development. There's going to be more added over time. The about page. Let that load. Gives us a project overview, how the project was organized into you know, numerous different pipelines and each of the pipeline sort of goals and outcomes as well. And there's some um, information here about within the pipelines, who was looking after what particular task, um, as you can see here. And then the team page just gives everyone who contributed to the project and helped develop our insights, develop the models, do some EDA and, and whatnot. And as you can see, all their pro profiles are here with a little bit about them and also a link to their LinkedIn. LinkedIn as well. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.